How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to install the Jeep Rock Claw hood catch system for 07 to 15 Jeep Wrangler JKs. I have a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport and the hood latches are starting to get pretty faded and worn out. I'm a little bit worried at some point they may fail. And to be honest, they just look like garbage. So I'm going to be replacing those today. I've actually already replaced one. And you can see the difference. And I'm going to show you step by step how to replace your hood latches to make it a hassle-free experience. For removing the original hood catch, you're first going to need a 10 millimeter hex nut driver and ratchet set, as well as a 13 millimeter hex nut driver. For putting the new Jeep Rock Claw hood catch on, you're going to need the following Allen wrenches a quarter inch, three sixteenths, five thirty seconds, and three thirty seconds. All right, so first step. We're going to just pop the hood, and again, I've already done this side. For the next part, you're going to need that 13 millimeter hex nut driver. Now, it's a tight fit, and what I ended up doing to fit it down in there was basically pry this in, and then I'm going to have to put the camera down and put the actual nut on. Okay, once you get everything situated, it should then just ratchet off. Once you get it loosened, you can pretty much then loosen it by hand because it's not using any type of uh, lock nut. And then it just slides off. Okay, for the next part, we're going to be installing the lower part of the latch. And this is where you're going to need that really big quarter inch Allen wrench. And basically you're going to want to take this and loosen it up right here and take this whole assembly off because we're going to need to be able to screw this in. Okay, I've got this unscrewed. You just take this out, put that to the side, and now this comes right off. We're going to put this over to the side. Now this is going to go right here. So I've gone ahead and put the washer on the bolt and then the tricky part is just putting the nut onto the bolt as well. Okay so once you've hand tightened the nut onto the bolt as much as you can you're going to then take your ratcheting wrench and put it back down into the crack. Okay once you have your wrench in place you're going to use the 3 16 Allen wrench to tighten everything up. Once you've tightened that down, you're then going to reinstall the main part of the latch. Be careful here not to scrape the paint on your car. Installing the top part of the hood catch is probably the trickiest part. You're going to need to remove this completely in order to get this part on because there's a screw here but there's also one underneath this and I don't really see how you can get to this one without removing this part. So you're going to use that 3 30 seconds Allen wrench to remove these. Be careful when you remove these because there's two tiny nuts that these screw into and you're going to need those. So here's those little nuts that I was talking about, and they're going to want to tend to fall out as soon as this part comes off. Also, note this plastic piece here. It basically just clamps on. You're going to want to go ahead and put this on now before you attach this part. Otherwise, this is going to be hard to get on. So you're just going to need to 
undo the nuts here in the back and take the washers off as well but leave the rubber part on okay for the next part you're going to take these little tiny nuts that were inside this track and go ahead and put them back in there note that the uh, lock part is going to be on top okay and they're just going to slide back in this track you'll go ahead and put the rubber piece back on and you're going to want to kind of hold it like this so that these nuts don't fly out because you're going to be turning this whole assembly upside down when you install it on the hood and you don't want these parts to fly out. I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this but basically it's going to go right in here and you're going to flip it upside down. Note that the plastic piece is in and it's on the top pointing upwards. So right now I've just got it laying in there. You can see the small nuts are in place. Make sure that those haven't gotten turned to the side or flipped upside down. The lock portion is on the bottom. Now we're just going to bolt it in. Okay, for this part you're going to need your 532nd Allen wrench and your 10 millimeter hex nut driver. Okay, go ahead and make sure that this is good and tight. Make sure that this is pretty much in line in the center and that it's not twisted to one side or the other. It does have a little bit of wiggle room before you tighten it down. For the last part you're going to need the 332nd Allen wrench. Okay, for the last step you're going to use this 332nd Allen wrench to install these bolts down into those small nuts. It might take a little bit of playing with to get it to line up. You don't want to do it tight right now because you're going to want to be able to slide this up and down in order to make the hood as tight as you need it to be. So just make sure that it threads first. Okay, so for my hood on the other side, I had to go down two notches and that was going to make for a tight hood. Yours may vary though, depending on how you either install the latches or how your hood is installed. Okay, so this may take a little bit of trial and error, but once you found the right notch setting, you're then going to want to go ahead and tighten these down and give it a try. If it doesn't close relatively easily or it's looking like it's starting to flex the hood, go ahead and make it a little bit looser. In order to make it looser, you're going to go down a notch not up. That, that's going to make it tighter if you go up higher. So to make it looser you're going to take this down a notch. Now I would just recommend taking it down one notch at a time until you find something that's snug. One last little piece to install is this little rubber pad that came off the original latch and basically that's just going to slide right down into here and push down and that's just going to provide a little bit of a padding, a little bit of buffer for the uh, hood. Nice and tight. I think it's got a great look to it. It's not going to fade like that black plastic and rubber. They're very heavy. They feel very well made but they are definitely a pain in the butt to install if you don't know what you're doing. I've seen other reviews where these did not come with instructions and my box also did not come with instructions. I had to go online and find them. But I think it ends up looking really good. It's definitely a worthwhile investment if you're looking to bring some life back into your Jeep and make it look a little bit better. Thanks for watching.